we have a little more luck uh, getting some answers from the actor who plays it. Kelly McDonald joins us live on Breakfast This Morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for being with us today. I've got to ask you, first of all, what is it like to be involved in this televisual juggernaut where there are 30 million people watching every Sunday night? And, you know, they are so immersed in this programme, Kelly. I... It's mind-blowing. 13 million just sounds like too many. <laughs> I'm used to doing things where it's, um, you know, family members really is only one to hear about watching anything. So um, it's been amazing and um, it's just a great team, you know, like they're, it's, they're a real family unit and they welcome me on, on board. Sorry. Oh dear, what is that fire alarm going off here? Is, is, that, is somebody recording this? Is that the noise for the start of the tape in the inter interrogation room? Yeah. Um, I've got to ask you as well. I mean, do you, how do you sort of watch it on a Sunday night? Do you watch it with the rest of us? I know obviously you know what, what's going on, but there's, you know, line of duty day starts trending in the morning on a Sunday, and then it's the top 10 trends on social media are all about the programme on a Sunday night. Yeah. It's, I'm in this weird um, world where I don't, I, I'm not watching it and I'm also not going online, so I kind of don't really... <laughs> I'm not too aware, like you said, 13 million, and that's just, that's a lot of information. That's a lot of people um, watching it, but I'm not one of them. I watched the first episode and, um, and also went online and then it took me a week to... <laughs> not be mental anymore um, and yeah it was just too much for me I'm afraid well I can totally understand that because you know there's so many people having a conversation on a Sunday night then on a Monday I suppose you, you're probably thankful that we're not all going out as much as we would normally as well because I would imagine you get <laughs> pestered quite a bit on the street at the moment and also this is really helpful I have to say <laughs> <laughs> although I was on a train a couple of weeks ago down south and um and the conductor, um, the train manager, recognised me before I spoke, and um, and so that was a bit disconcerting. Mm. I thought I was like, you know, I thought I was like bat think, um, <laughs> you know. Oh, the, the the wings were not a shield of steel on that occasion, <laughs> and. That interview scene, as Louise mentioned, so it was 29 minutes and 22 seconds. I imagine uh, being involved in that, obviously it takes a, an absolute eternity to film it. Are you aware that it's such a, a crucial part of that episode and so lengthy as well? Virtually half the episode is you sat down being interrogated by these three. Well, I think actually filming the scene took longer than that even, so... Um... Yeah, you're aware that the glass box scenes are, are, you know, really pivotal and it's what people love. And Adrian told me at the beginning, sorry, that's the police to pick me up. I don't know if you can hear them. Um, <laughs> well, can yeah, I, I, can't, I can't believe there's a siren in the background while we're interviewing <laughs> you. <I know. laughs> um, Adrian said, you know, it's a chance for the actors to flex their muscles a little bit, the leads that come in. And then... Um, yeah and so it was it was really daunting and we filmed it over two days and the first day it was all on me um and we did 50 camera setups and that is extraordinary um and you could only you know filming the scene took over half an hour so we could only fit so many takes into the day so yeah it's just unlike anything I've ever done. Did you, when you read the script, did you think there was a printing error when you saw the number of no comments that you had to come out with? That, it's so funny. So when I started the, the job, I hadn't received those episodes yet, the last episodes. So, um, yeah, I, um, at first I saw the no comments and I thought, I can do this, this is fine, it's going to be okay. <laughs> but then she unfortunately does start to talk more. She cracks in the end. And we're talking about cracking, right, so you're filming over two days. So when mm -hmm. um, DCI Hastings, or Adrian Dunbar, um, when he comes up with the, the wee donkey line, which I think... Well, how, how do you all respond? Do you laugh at that point when he first comes up with that, or do you have to try and sort of maintain the, the poise? I mean, there was... We were very serious. The first day, everybody was um, very conscious of what I had to achieve, you know, because the, the scene is quite up and down emotionally. But the second day, um, 
there was a lot of laughs actually it was Anna Maxwell Martin as well it was just I find her just so I it's hard to work with her almost she's so watchable everything she does every sort of every little movement of her face but yeah and um, when Hastings comes out with his his classic lines it's quite tricky and also there was a couple of flubs I remember there was something about some racist slugs and that took a while to recover from um, it was meant to be racist thugs and um, <laughs> and so <laughs> okay, I can imagine that when you're trying to film a really intense scene, I imagine that could send quite a few of the over the edge for a while. We also saw um, this quite intense car chase yesterday, which looked amazing on TV. Uh, but Vicky McClure, um, who plays Kate Fleming, has posted this. I, I, don't, I know you've not, you're not on um, social, you say, but she's posted a picture showing the truth of it all. Essentially, there was no driving taking place whatsoever. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, well, no, there was. Vicky is a great, you know, stunt driver. She, I remember that's what my brother used to want to be when he was little. He wanted to be a stunter, he called it. And I think she'd be excellent. She was very into the driving of that car. But, yeah, there was, there was also, you know, a lot of trickery there. So, so when she did the handbrake turn, that was obviously put on later, was it? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did reverse and things. There was lots of. There was fast driving. You know, I wasn't worried because I felt quite. I was in safe hands with her. Um, um, but yeah, she did. She did a lot of the driving. I love the fact that you're sort of not watching this program um, that so much of the country is uh, is obsessed with. Do you have? Do you have you got friends of yours or members of your family who are begging you? Uh, to tell them who H is or, you know, reveal plot lines. Are you ignoring all those people as well? I, you know, I'm, I'm having a weird radio silence from people. I think it's freaked everybody out on, you know, my family and friends. Um, but I'm getting the odd message and it's my agent's job on a Monday. I'm expecting a call from her actually to sort of talk me through the episode and tell me that everything's OK. <laughs> <laughs> right. OK, so you've got, you've got your agent sort of filters everything for you and then tells you that it's all right on a Monday. Yeah, well, she doesn't filter. She just tells me what she thinks, and I trust her opinion. Um, but yeah, it's pathetic. I know. I, I, I need to get over myself. But I just, um, like I said, that first episode just was overwhelming. It was too much for me, and um, uh, yeah, I need to grow up. Uh, I, well, you, you're doing a fantastic job in this series. We're looking forward to the last one. Before we let you go, can I just can I press you on some concerns that many of our viewers have? Okay, I want to see what we can get out of you this morning. So. Okay. Joanne Davison, do you know who the fourth man is? No comment. Is Joe Davidson going to make it through to the series finale? Are you going to survive the last episode? No comment. How long has Marcus Thurwell been dead for? No comment. Who do you think your real father is? No comment. What's under that concrete floor? No comment. Is Marcus Thurwell actually dead? No comment. Is Hastings bent? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. I'm giving up. This is pointless. Uh, DCI Joe Davidson, thank you very much. Kelly McDonald, it's been a real pleasure to talk to you. And um, I know you're not watching it yourself, but loads of people are enjoying it and you're giving us plenty to talk about. Uh, when there's not much to talk about at the moment as well. So thank you. Enjoy your Monday. Enjoy your normal week, not being obsessed by line of duty and what might happen. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Great to talk to you. And you can catch up. On